Today we are going to learn about whole grains, whole wheat, and how that impacts our fiber intake and all kinds of good stuff. So let's get started. Here is a grain, like a wheat kernel right here. And all kinds of foods have this. Uh, if you're thinking about rice, so white rice is without this bran shell around the outside, whereas brown rice still has the bran shell. And we're going to talk about why that bran shell is important. So here we have the endosperm. This is like the main bulk of your carbohydrate calories with wheat. It just kind of gives you energy. So that's all good there. We have this section called the germ. And this has actually some really healthy fats for us. So we got some omega-3s, some omega-6s in there. If you can see down here, it says germ. You can see the uh, macronutrient breakdown has some fiber, has some iron, vitamin Ds or vitamin B, and uh, omega threes and sixes. So that's really healthy for us as well. But what I mainly want to talk about is the fiber and this bran outside. So we can see bran right here, 43 grams of fiber in that bran, quite a lot. Also has some B vitamins. So this is why we want to eat whole grains, is because we're actually getting this bran section into our food now. It doesn't usually taste as sweet or sugary if we have the bran, but it's really good for our health and there are some really good options that still taste pretty solid. So let's take a look at uh, some bread here. So on the left we have 100% whole wheat bread um, and you're gonna look up two foods. So um, pay attention to how I kind of break this down. So we're looking down at like total carbohydrates and what I really want us to look at is the dietary fiber and then the sugars. So sugars are complicated. There's added sugars, which is what we're really concerned about. So this has no added sugars. So I'm not too concerned about that. We get two grams of dietary fiber. That's pretty solid. Uh, next, what I want us to look at is the ingredients. So we have whole wheat flour for the first ingredient. We have water and we have wheat gluten and then yeast. So this is all pretty much natural. And when it says whole wheat flour, that means you're getting the whole wheat grain in there which let me just shift back here. That's gonna be that brand included, so you're gonna get lots of vitamins from that, lots of fiber, so that's all good. Here I have some white bread beside it, and this actually isn't too bad. If we look down at the uh, dietary fiber, you can see one gram of dietary fiber versus two grams in the whole wheat, so that's better. And if we look at the sugars, so total sugars, two grams, but what I'm really looking at is this added sugar. So remember, we wanna limit the added sugar in our diet, one gram isn't terrible, so this isn't actually a terrible option. And then over here, you know, you can compare it. So this whole wheat is a better option, but this white bread isn't terrible. Next, we're going to look at ingredients once again. So we have enriched, unbleached flour. Let's start with the unbleached. So bleaching is a process that grains growth go through. If we can, we want to avoid bleached flour. Uh, it's removed a bunch of the minerals from it. So, um, or you know. Uh, minerals, vitamins, all that good stuff. So it's not going to be as healthy for us. It's going to taste better. Um, so that's a positive. But if we can, we want to find unbleached. And uh, I went to the grocery store. Most of the white breads are actually unbleached. So that's pretty good. Uh, and then let's look at the enriched part. Enriched is they're actually adding nutrients to the bread. A lot of times in the bleaching process, you're going to lose a lot of those. So they enrich the bread and it adds nutrients. So enriched is fine in my opinion. So this seems like not a terrible option. The whole wheat bread is going to be a better option, but uh, just go ahead and check out the um, ingredients when you're buying foods, right? So once it says enriched flour, it has all the things in that flour in parentheses. So we're going to skip those like the flour malted barley. That is what makes up this enriched unbleached flour. And then we get to water as a second ingredient. And then we get to high fructose corn syrup as a third ingredient. And we want to avoid high fructose corn syrup if we can. So this is still a decent option, not the worst, but this whole wheat bread is definitely more ideal. All right, so when we're thinking about fiber, we want to think about how much we're intaking per day. Because again, fiber is important because it feeds your gut bacteria, and gut bacteria are just very important. So uh, the recommended daily allowance for fiber is somewhere between 25 and 30 grams. You can definitely have more than that. And you don't only get fiber from wheat products. This is going to be all fruits and vegetables nuts, seeds, anything that grows out of the ground is going to have some fiber in it. So that's why we want to eat a natural plant-based diet. The average American is only eating 15 grams, which is not ideal. It's, um, you know, not feeding your gut bacteria and it's just not as healthy for us. So we want to be trying to increase our fiber intake. So let's go on. We have two types of pasta here. So uh, this is just a whole grain pasta. As you can see, seven grams of dietary fiber. So this is a really good option for us. Um, one gram of total sugar, or but no uh, added sugar, so that's not too bad right there. And then if we, oh, if we go down and look at the ingredients here, oh, here we go. Go back and look at the ingredients. We have whole grain durum wheat flour, and then 
uh, that's it. And it just says contains wheat ingredients. So one ingredient, that's a great source of nutrients right there. And you can even see all the vitamins and minerals this pasta has. So that's pretty good. Oh, and it even says not a significant source of added sugars. So that's pretty solid. Uh, over here, we have um, ramen noodles, right, which are delicious. The main problem is we see sodium here, 48% of your daily value. That's quite high. For fiber, we got two grams, so not terrible. And then uh, total sugars two, but zero added sugars. So this whole wheat is clearly uh, better than the ramen noodles, but you know, ramen noodles are delicious, so you gotta eat them sometimes. And here again, we see the same thing with the other white bread. We get enriched flour here. So in parentheses, that's saying what enriched flour is. So it's wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron. This is where they're adding those minerals to the, um, to the wheat product, right? Um, vegetable oil is the second ingredient and then salt is the third ingredient so not as healthy but you know not the worst thing in the world for us we can do this we can eat this every once in a while and then to finish off let's talk about some bran flakes so i'm a huge fan of bran flakes check out uh your cereal labels because not all are created equal as we see here tons of fiber in this bran flakes and this is why i like bran flakes so much so we got seven grams of fiber soluble versus insoluble that insoluble fiber is going to make it down to your gut bacteria so um, and then total sugar. So we have seven grams of total sugar and it has six grams of added sugars, which is very high actually. So not all bran flakes are created equal. The bran flakes that I buy have one gram of added sugar. So this, these bran flakes are gonna be much more sweet. Uh, and one of the really good things about these like healthier cereals without all the sugar is they are enriched or they call them fortified. And so they add all these vitamins and minerals to the back of bran flakes. So when I did a nutritional analysis, um, it turns out if I added bran flakes to my diet, it pretty much covered everything that I was missing. Um, bran flakes and sunflower seeds, so I add those to my uh, cereals. So if we look at the ingredients, whole grain wheat is number one, wheat bran is number two, and sugar is number three. So again, if this was a different brand, sugar might be off of there. We might have wheat flour as the number three, which would be more ideal. So you're going to do the same thing. You are going to look up the fiber. You are going to look up the sugars and particularly the added sugars and then you are going to look at the top three ingredients and then you're going to analyze two whole grain product or two uh, grain products that you eat or that you're interested in looking up their information okay that is all i have for this video i will see you in the next one